To create a number line in Microsoft Word, once you have your new document open, you're going to go up to the ribbon and go to Insert, choose Shapes, and choose one of the lines that you would like to use. Next, add that line to your document. I'm going to zoom in. Once you have that line selected, the shape format tab in the ribbon should open up. And then you're going to go over to where it says shape outline and click the color that you want and select the weight of the number line that you would like. Next, I'm going to go back up to the ribbon and under the shape format, you should see more choices of the lines to add in a tick mark. If you don't see that, you can go back to insert, go back to shapes, and then choose your lines there. So I'm going to zoom in and create my first tick mark, adjust the color again and the weight of the tick mark and place it close to the end point or arrow. Next, I'm going to select that tick mark and click on copy and then select somewhere else on the page and click paste. And that is going to be my other end point. Let's see this top, I'm looking at the dimensions because no grid lines show up like they would in PowerPoint. So the top dimension says 95.95 over here, it's 0.95 as well. Okay, so that's where I want all of my tick marks to land. So I'm gonna select this one on the left again and click right click, copy, and down here, right click, paste. I'm gonna do that so that I have a total from zero to 10. So we have our zero, that's one, two and you can also use your keyboard and click command v or control v to paste those in as well so zero one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we already have ten over here i want all of these to be somewhere between those tick marks so i'm going to move this one over and this one over then I'm going to select all of the tick marks so I can evenly distribute them on the number line. In Microsoft, I need to select these individually while holding the shift key down on my keyboard. So I have the first one, hold the shift key down, click the second one, and then so on. If you click away from it by accident, they become unselected, so be careful. I kind of look for those four arrows or two intersecting arrows okay make sure you click the one on the end as well so while they're selected go back up to the ribbon click on shape format tab go over to the right where it says align you're going to want to select where it says align top so they're all at the same height next while they're still selected go back to align and then distribute horizontally so they'll distribute evenly in a horizontal direction across the number line make sure your arrow is in front so i'm going to click bring to front and then select all of them again And while my shift key is still selected, right click, go to group. Make sure that arrow is included in the group. So I'm gonna, sometimes it doesn't get selected, so make sure the tick mark group is selected, shift, and then with the arrow, right click again, and then group. So now, if you need to move that, you can. Next, let's insert our text box label so we can add in our numbers. So select away, go to insert, all the way over to the right where it says text box, and then draw text box. I'm gonna start with the number 10. And type in 10. And expand that a bit. And then I'm gonna highlight that. This is where you would go to your home tab and adjust the font and text size if you wanted to change it or the color. The font is fine for me now. I want to increase the text size just a bit. So I'm gonna zoom out or expand that. 
text box so we can see it. Now I want to move this closer, but I don't want the text box to block the tick mark. So while the text box is selected, go back up to shape format, go to shape fill, choose no fill, then go to the shape outline and choose no outline. So now, no matter how, where we move it, we can see behind that text box. So now I'm gonna put the 10, I'm gonna zoom in here and place the 10 in a spot that I want it to be. And then I'm gonna, again, take note of the dimension for the top. It says a 1.24, is that where I want it? I want it closer or farther away. I think 1.24 is fine. So now I'm going to select the text box again, right click, copy, select away, right click, paste, and adjust the text box so it only has the zero. I'm gonna bring this in just a bit. Move this over, make sure my top dimension is still 1.24. Then I'm gonna right click and copy, select away, right click, paste, Here's another one, right click copy, or you can hit command or control C on your keyboard and then command or control V on your keyboard to paste. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Our 10 is already here. We're gonna select the first text box, hold down the shift key and select all the other ones as well. Make sure you select the last one and go back up to the ribbon, click shape format, go to align and then align top and back to align and distribute horizontally. You can do this before, after you change the zero to the correct number because you might need to adjust it again. So I'm going to select each one change the zero i'm going to zoom in and see if i need to move these over to the left or right just slightly now all of our numbers in place i'm going to go around and select all the numbers select the first one hit shift select all of them and then i'm going to right click group and then group together. So now, oh, we see that 10 didn't get selected. So while the main group is selected, hold down my shift key and click on the 10 again, right click group, now it's included. Okay, so we have our number line and we have our labels. So we wanna group the two together. And so I have to hold my shift key down, right click and group. They're all one big group now and it can move around. Next, what we wanna do is save this as an image because if you expand this, the proportions don't expand correctly together. While it's selected, right click, go to save as picture, and wherever you wanna save it, whatever folder, and then label it. So I'm gonna put 0-10 number line. Make sure you save it as a PNG or a JPEG, and then click Save. So let's move the one that we created down, and then we are going to go to Insert, Pictures, Picture from File, and choose our image. And now our image is inside of our document, and now you see with the arrow, you can zoom in or out and the proportions remain together. Now, one thing with Microsoft Word that's different from PowerPoint, once I added this image in, I can't just move it around the page like I would in PowerPoint. So to get it where you want it to go, you would have to like hit enter or tab it over. Hopefully that helps you with creating your number lines in Microsoft Word.